Google's AlphaGo algorithm beat 18 times world champion Lee Sadol in the complicated game of Go. By achieving this milestone, artificial intelligence proved it will have serious implications for medicine and healthcare. This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the medical future. In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue program beat world chess champion Gary Kasparov in an epic battle between the human mind and computational power. In 2011, IBM's new supercomputer named Watson beat two genius players in the television show Jeopardy. It was a battle of lexical knowledge. So why is everyone so excited that Google DeepMind's AlphaGo recently beat Lisa Dole? today's best Go player 4 to 1. Go is far more complicated than chess. Using black and white stones on a grid, players gain the upper hand by surrounding their opponent's pieces with their own. There are more possible positions in Go than atoms in the universe. Winning the game therefore requires creativity and intuition, something thought beyond current artificial intelligence technology. Watching the five games was fascinating and showed three major ways in which artificial intelligence or AI algorithms will affect our lives. 1. Intuition is not exclusive to humans. In the 37th move in the second game, AlphaGo made a very surprising decision. A three-time European Go champion said it's not a human move. Well, AI will not be burdened by preconceptions. It will consider and offer solutions and thoughts that we simply cannot think of. 2. AI will make us better. The European Go champion who helped teach AlphaGo by playing against it said that though he lost almost all games, his understanding of Go skyrocketed thanks to the unusual way the program played it. This is also demonstrated by how Sadol, having lost to AlphaGo three times, made a similarly unprecedented move and went on to win the fourth game. Could he have made the same surprising move without playing the first three matches and getting inspired by AlphaGo? 3. Being better than AI is not the point. Settle said that he could win the fourth game only by analyzing how AlphaGo determined its winning chances and trying to confuse it. Although he won, it was more about winning a particular match instead of improving at the game itself. Artificial intelligence will be better than us in some ways and this may make us feel awkward. However, if we think about how much it can improve our lives, we can realize that beating it at certain tasks should not be our goal and it wouldn't improve society as a whole. The obvious next question everyone asks is whether AI will replace us in our jobs. While there are certainly professions that can be automated, certain human skills from empathy to clinical judgment based on experience are hard to replace. If an AI algorithm could check hundreds of radiology images a day looking for signs of cancer, and radiologists only have to supervise this process, physicians would have more time to actually care for patients or develop the field with new technologies, processes and ideas. My general rule of thumb is, if an AI can do my job better, then I should be replaced. This is why I work hard to improve my skills to a level where it becomes hard to replace me. This is the challenge we all face, without exceptions. How will AlphaGo improve medicine and healthcare? IBM Watson has been used in oncology clinics throughout the US for years. Papers have shown how it contributes to determining the best treatment plans for patients battling cancer. It seems DeepMind is also interested in this industry. They recently launched a partnership with the UK's National Health Service NHS to improve the process of delivering care with digital solutions. Imagine using the intuition and computing power DeepMind combined for analyzing health data and medical records. It would not only be a program doing what it was coded to do, but go beyond that, making assumptions only people had been able to. This will open up opportunities we have never seen before to patients managing their disease, physicians treating patients, not to mention business possibilities for insurance and pharma companies. The amount of medical information is so huge, it is humanly impossible to know 
everything there is and even harder to understand what already available data can teach us about diseases like diabetes or living a healthier life. We need help, only AI can provide, to provide truly personalized medicine. It seems a go match just brought this closer to reality. Thank you. Keep watching my videos to learn more about the future of medicine and stay up to date about the upcoming trends by reading my blog. Thank you.